What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be discussing the finished window, typical finished window, compared to the American, typical American window. So um, why I'm doing this video is because, well, I'm living in Finland and I thought it would be unique to have a series where I go over random things in Finland that you would just not see in America or, you know, something that is technically different that is done in Finland. So for example, this bloody window, you guys can see how wide the frame is that's because the window has a mass distance that is insanely wide i have a pretty large uh wingspan and you can see that i can only cover two windows there's one more all the way over there and um it's pretty wide but um that's not the only thing that makes this window actually unique so i'm gonna take you guys all the way closer to the window just to show you guys what makes this window extremely different from the typical American window. But before we do that, let's talk about the size. So first of all, the um, similar thing that you will find in an American window with an American window is the fact that you have blinds. We all have blinds, right? However, if you guys noticed something just now, I have the string right here. You probably can't see the string. Oh my gosh, this light. But the string is right here. You can see my hands going across on something. The string's right here, right? However, the unique thing about this blind compared to the American blind is that you can't touch it. You can't touch it. You cannot touch it. It is not touchable because it's behind the glass, which is a shock for me because I, I'm used to being able to touch the bloody blinds, right? And um, you can't touch these ones. And um, that's very unique actually, right? So we can, um, you know, put this back where it belongs. And, um, you know, what else is interesting about this window is that uh, I can't open it. I don't know, maybe maybe someone who is actually finished, who've actually had experiences with this window could open it, but I cannot open that window. The window, right here cannot be opened and that one cannot be opened so it's for light i'm guessing not ventilation however this window right here can be open so it has a little knob you turn it to the up position and that's it it doesn't go any wider than uh probably uh a foot and a half what is a foot and a half probably um i don't know a couple <laughs> Cent uh, centimeters, maybe 150 centimeters. I think that should be um, correct. Um, but yeah, it doesn't actually go as wide as you'd imagine. However, now since we've covered the weirdest parts about this window, why not show you guys something that is really interesting? Okay, so I got to get really low for this one, right? So we got the handle right here and um, you got to turn it sideways and uh, it's open, right? However, Remember I was telling you guys, you cannot touch the blinds. Well, here you go. I can actually, oh, that's really high. Anyways, uh, let me lower the blinds real quick. So a moment ago, you guys could not touch the blinds. However, this is the blind right here. So it's very much touchable with this window because this one opens, right? However, there are some unique things about this window that makes it finish or probably Nordic, because maybe Nordic countries in general has it, colder countries has it. New York, I've been to New York, lived there for a little bit. I ain't never seen this double window, but what I've heard from Finnish people was that it's because it gets really cold and having two you know, windows, I guess, or a double window makes it thicker, makes it a lot better to keep the warmness inside or the coldness outside, whichever way it goes. Y'all can let me know if you know about that in the comment section. They do have a nice seal right here. You guys can probably see that. There's a nice seal right here. It looks a little plastic right here type stuff, but that's the finished window. And it does have your typical mesh to prevent bugs and bees, whatever, from getting inside your house. And um, that's literally the makeup off the finished window. It is literally super huge with a small ventilation area. And it goes no further than that, which is really weird. That's probably the biggest downfall. No, no, no. I think the biggest issue that I actually you know, find with the finished window is the fact that all this space, all this space, but <laughs> why is it like, I see hinges right here. 
And I wonder to myself, is it possible for this window to be open? Somebody in the comments, you gotta let me know, is it possible to open this window? Because I see hinges right here and that's, that's usually to open. So you guys can let me know in the comment section if it is actually possible to indeed open this larger window. However, that's actually gonna be the first video on this series where I talk about and find random things in Finland that are either not in the U United States of America or they're in the United States of America, but they're different compared to what is here in Finland. So um, yeah, get ready for that series. And um, this series is really because of culture shock in Finland. And I kind of want to give a brief uh, knowledge to people who are probably gonna visit Finland, or maybe you live in Finland and you don't know these things or whatever the case may be. You know, Finns who might not know that what they have is unique. Yeah, this is some light for you guys. So yeah, hope you guys locked in for the series and um, you know, Enjoy your time and uh, thank you guys for watching. So obviously guys, I cannot just end the video without actually showing you guys what the American windows would typically look like. So it's usually something of the sort like what you'll see behind me right here or beside me, whichever um, you would prefer to say. Um, so uh, when you look at the American window, it's typically in that rectangular or, or it could be a box shape depending on how wide you got them, right? However, it's um, it's usually like typically like what I'm showing you right now on the screen. So you can actually open the window. I do know that there are some that you can actually open like this. So it goes out like that and it doesn't necessarily go up. Some of them can actually go out, right? But those are, I think, less, less uh, common. These are the uh, basic ones that you'll actually practically see majority of the times. And also, uh, here's a perfect example with the blinds. So you can physically actually touch the blinds and um, that's a perfect size of a window that you'll typically find in America. The previous one that I showed you guys was a tad bit small. However, you'd probably get that in like a double situation where one's right here and another's right here. So that's a perfect example of that. However, that's what the blinds would look like but as you guys know i told you guys the blinds for the finish uh windows are actually inside so it's two windows and the blinds are actually between those so that's a perfect example of the american and um in my humble opinion um due to the fact that the finish window i'm not i don't know everything about it i do see hinges on it but i'm not sure if i, if I can actually open it uh, that's where uh, I'm like, ah, oh, man, the finished window has something that I, mm, it's kind of iffy. I don't really know if I can choose that over, um, you know, the American window in a sense of ventilation. However, just generally speaking of build quality, I'm definitely going to have to give it as a finished window. I think it's better uh, quality of a window and uh, it's, it just seems much more safe, uh, stronger build quality and, um, it's just much more practical. The only issue, like I said, it's just the ventilation, which uh, there might be a trick to it. You guys can let me know in the comment section and uh, thank you for watching. There's gonna be plenty more videos like this where I compare things in Finland to the thing that, to the exact thing that you'd find in America or if there's none in America, I'll definitely, you know, be sure to also include that in this series. So thank you for watching and um, I do hope you guys enjoy this series, you know, America compared to Finland and um, yeah, I'm out of here. Peace.